Hello everyone, in today's video, I will show you how to create a Google AdSense account. As a blogger, website owner, or YouTuber that attracts a significant amount of traffic every day. The great way to turn that amount of traffic to generate income is to monetize your platform through Google AdSense, a powerful advertising platform that enables you to display targeted ads on your platform. With AdSense, you can generate revenue from your content by allowing Google to place ads on your platform. In this tutorial, we'll cover everything you need to know to get started, including eligibility requirements, best practices, and tips for getting your account approved quickly. Before signing up for a Google AdSense account, you must have a Google account. If you don't have it, please sign up for the Google account before you proceed with the tutorial. So, if you're ready to start earning money from your content, Grab your computer and let's dive right into the tutorial. So on your computer, open the internet browser and type in AdSense or Google AdSense. Both will give you the same result. Choose the first search result to open the AdSense page. Once the Google AdSense page loads, move on and click on the sign up button. If you are already signed in to your Gmail account in the browser, then select the Gmail account you want to use in creating the AdSense account. But if you haven't signed in, proceed and click on Use Another Account. Then, enter your email address and click on Next. After that, enter your email password and click Next to be directed to the AdSense sign-up form. So, the first thing Google AdSense will ask is to enter the URL of your site. This is very important as Google AdSense uses the URL to track the placement of ads on your site. So all you need to do is copy and paste the correct URL of your site in this text box. But if you don't have a site yet, feel free and click on this box. Earlier today, I created a simple website on Wix, which I will use in this tutorial. So quickly, I will paste the URL of the website I created and then choose whether I want Google AdSense to send me customized help and performance suggestions or choose the second option if I don't want that. Underneath, AdSense required to select the country or territory where you currently live. This is necessary for Google to verify your identity and make sure you receive payment. Please be aware that you won't be able to change this later, so it's important to choose the correct country from the list. So last part is to read the terms and conditions for Google AdSense that apply to the country you are residing in. After reading the terms, check the box to accept them. Now proceed and click on the Start using AdSense button and it will create your Google AdSense account. Once your account is created, the next step is to enter your personal information. To do this, click on Enter Information in the Payments section. At this point, you need to select your account type, choose individual if it's for personal use, or organization if it's for company. Keep in mind that the criteria will differ based on your selection. Next, under name and address, you'll see that Google has automatically added the name you used when creating your Gmail account. Feel free to edit the name or keep it unchanged. Below, enter your address line the name of your city, your postal code, and your phone number. The phone number is optional, so you can leave it like that, but I recommend you enter your phone number. Before I submit the details, some of you may have suburb within the form based on the country you have selected. So after you've finished entering all your details, proceed and click on the Submit button. A verified address modal will appear for you to check if all the details you provided are accurate. If necessary, you can click Edit Address to make changes. If the details are correct, proceed to use the address as is and click Submit again. After this, you will need to verify the phone number you entered in the customer info. Select how you would like Google to send you the verification code and then click on Send. Once you receive the code, enter it and click on Submit. Now, 
you have to wait for AdSense to approve your account, and this process usually takes one to two weeks. But you can run ads on your website within 48 to 72 hours. Next, let's see how ads will appear on your site by clicking on Explore. Even though it's optional, it's the best way to preview where and how the ads will be displayed on your site. So once the AdSense scanning process is complete, the Auto Ads feature will be disabled. Therefore, you are required to manually place an AdSense script in between the head tags on every page across your site. So, proceed and click Get Code to open up this modal. So this is the code you should copy and paste in between the head tags across every page on your website. On the other hand, AdSense can automatically place ads on your site by toggling the Auto Ads button. As you see here at the bottom, I have an ad already been listed. This is just an example to show you how ads will be displayed when people visit your site on a computer, and this is how it will be displayed on a phone. AdSense provides the capability to adjust the ad settings for your ads, so the initial setting is intent-driven formats and it's currently in beta at the time of recording this video. This means the setting is not fully released yet. So when you activate this feature, it insert links and anchors into existing text and pages on your website that are relevant to your content. Upon a user's interaction with a link or anchor, a dialog box opens, displaying pertinent organic search results along with ads, thereby potentially boosting your earnings. In the Overlay Format section, you can enable or disable specific ad formats you do or don't want to appear over your page content. Personally, I found SideRail ads annoying, so I'll uncheck that option to prevent them from showing on my site. There are additional settings at the bottom that you can use to customize the overlay formats, but I won't make any changes, so I will leave it as it is and the in-page format enables you to strategically place ads within different sections of your site. This format offers the flexibility to exclude designated areas and pages where you do not want these ads to appear. Moreover, there are additional settings that allow you to fine-tune the ads to override the existing ad load setting. It's important to note that adjusting the ads to display at the maximum frequency can potentially result in higher earnings, and it is important to exercise discretion to avoid overwhelming visitors with excessive ads. After that, enable Google to optimize the existing ad units upon completion. The last settings exclude areas and pages, which is not valuable for me to use at this moment. So I will proceed to apply the settings to the site and click on Save. It's important to note that these changes may take up to an hour to reflect your site. Now, let's link the site to AdSense by clicking the Let Go button. AdSense will prompt you to complete the setup to verify the ownership of your site. After verifying ownership, proceed and check the box and then click Next. Request AdSense to review your site, which may take up to 48 hours to connect. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this. Hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new content. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorial videos in the future.